Hi guys, we've had some really hot sunny weather for the last few days so I thought I'd have a go at making one of those solar engine um, vibrating bugs. Um, I've harvested this little solar panel out of one of those uh, garden lights and I know it is very low power so I've no idea whether I'm going to get enough power out of that to do the job but we'll find out. It's been really sunny lately so we might be lucky. Uh, this is a 4700 microfarad capacitor 6.3 volts. Um, I've used it for something before which is why it looks a little bit ropey. I've uh, got a couple of tr transistors here 2N3904 and 2N3906 I've uh, got a little 2.2k resistor there, that's red, red, red. Um, a flashing LED. Um, I've actually used these before and I'm, I'm not very happy with them, uh, but it was all I could find at the time on eBay. I've since then I've seen better ones. Uh, this this one actually flashes three different colours, which I don't want at all. I just want a single flashing colour. And then one of my vibrating motors that I've harvested out of a vibrating toothbrush. So we'll stick them together and see if we can make a little vibrating bug. So that I know which transistor's which, I've just glued the 3904 to the this minus side of the capacitor and I shall glue the 3906 to the other side just a little dolloper super glue on it I'll have to do a close-up of this because you're not going to be able to see what I've done. But that's the um, the first bit of the soldering done. Uh, yeah, I'll have to do some close-ups. A little bit more to go yet. Still need to add the LED, the motor, and the um, solar panel. That's all the soldering done. So if I hold the cell up to the light, hopefully you can see the motor spin in there or turning. What I've got to do now is put some legs on this, mount the solar solar panel on top. And I should have a, a vibrating solar bug. Right, too late in the day to try the sunlight, so we'll have to use a bright bulb. There we go. not exactly racing away with things but it's working. You may notice I've actually um, used a felt tip pen and coloured the LED black 
Um, apparently they work better if um, they're not in the sunlight for the purpose of uh, this application. But anyway, there we are. That's a uh, vibrating motor. Solar panel out of a garden light. Um, flashing LED. Two transistors. Uh, 2N. Oh, I've forgotten what they are now. 3904 and 3906 I think. I'll correct that if I'm wrong. A 4700 microfarad capacitor. A 2.2K resistor. And that's it. I should go and put that out ready for the sunlight now. Oh. All I've done is I've used a bit of double sided tape to push the solar panel on top of the capacitor and I've used a cable tie to make the leg legs and I've bent the LED down to make the third leg so we've got a three legged bug. I'll just stick it back on there again. get it on some sunlight now. The circuit I used um, I got off a website um, I'll put a link on my video description just so you can do your own. It's a FLED based solar engine, F FLED meaning flashing LED. There's a fairly simple circuit here, and that's the one I've used. Uh, that's my sketch diagram of it, so I know which way to put it when I glue it to the um, capacitor. If you search through my other videos you'll find this little fella which I've hacked directly out of one of those garden lights. It's the same solar cell, um, it's even the original packaging. All I've done there is I've inserted the vibrating motor into the original circuitry. The only thing is this one works in the opposite way. If you turn the light off then it vibrates. Turn the light back on again and it stops. So have a look through my other videos and you'll find that one. So that works exactly the opposite to the one that I've just created. This one works when the light's on it. This one charges up a little battery which is underneath and then when the light goes out it discharges through the motor. So that one's a nice easy one to do. This one's a bit more complicated, requires a few transistors and bits, um, but it works the opposite way round. It works when it's in direct sunlight. Bring the light down. It's like that. It's not quite enough. Oh, well, it just about works. really needs direct sunlight. And there we go.